Uh, now, if you're a budding James Dyson, uh, Thomas Edison or Doc Brown <laughs> and have an invention or two up your sleeve, then we'll stay listening because the Inventor Prize is looking to find the best 10 new inventors and give them £5,000 to develop that invention. Uh, one lucky inventor will be chosen to receive £50,000, which really could go a long way to turning their dream into reality. Mm, well, the award is supported by the Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy, and it's run by... Um, the Innovation Foundation, Nesta. Now, Loughborough inventor Simon Lyons has had help from Nesta uh, in the early days of uh, launching his business, version 22. Morning, Simon. Good morning. Good morning. Now, we've we've heard from you in the past because you've, over time, have been inventing, developing. And tell us sort of what you were doing then. It was the Gecko Hub. That was the one, yes. Uh, yeah. I was on with, on with you, James. Yes, you were. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I remember it well because the beautiful, vivid, bright colours, the green one, I really was uh, was a big fan of. And this was a brilliant invention to store stuff in your kitchen, uh, the Gecko Hub. So how did that go? That went really well. So that campaign fully funded and we, we sent Gecko Hubs out to about 25 countries after mm. that campaign. Um, we're all sold out now, so we're looking to launch the second version of that next year. Awesome. And since then, we've developed two new products. One was called Nimble, which is uh, the one finger safety cutter. So you pop that on your fingertip like a thimble, use it to cut open anything you order online from Amazon, envelopes, mailer bags, that sort of thing. And oh. that was what I um, was developing when I was taking part in Nesta's last challenge prize. That's right. So but go through that yeah. again, sorry. It's, a, it's a, like a thimble. So it? it's a small thimble, um, mm, so you can see in the pack there. It's flexible, so you pop it on your fingertip like a thimble. It's got a really small ceramic blade at the tip mm -hmm. which is much safer than knives and scissors and you can use it to cut open mailer bags and all packaging I'm it out. I haven't asked you so it's cut out coupons that sort of thing it's a so you could try it on the envelope there yeah it's like a clever okay. version of a letter knife in the old days you'd have had a letter opener wouldn't you that would have been on a little tray it would have been a knife probably highly dangerous but this oh, thing helps you literally sort of hack into those parcels. Oh, look, there can you... Wow, that's really clever. Straight that's through. Just, just cut straight through that paper there. I was trying to open something yesterday, a box. I bought a new hard drive and I was trying to open it and I couldn't open it, so I ended up jabbing a pen in it. This how would have been think, perfect. How did you think of that, Simon? So that was developed as part of another competition several years back where I was helping develop something for people with arthritis who struggled particularly um, severely with opening plastic packaging in the kitchen. Oh, I've so just I'd cut through the front page of the Daily <laughs> Mail. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. <laughs> um, so I, uh, I I developed that to solve that problem, but then it sort of took on a life of its own and it became more of a, a mass appeal thing I've and people found all sorts of uses for my it. My finger over the blade and it's it, it it doesn't feel sharp at all. So how does it cut through paper? It, it is it? sharp, but it's really, really small. Oh. Um, so it's... It's a much safer alternative than using, say, a kitchen knife or a box cutter or something. You don't have to worry about slipping with it and cutting yourself because yeah. it is really very, very small. Yeah. So. The thing is, it's all very well having these, these ideas, but, but funding's critical, isn't it? So, so, so Nesta, how has that actually helped you in practical ways to, to, to get your invention from in your brain out onto the market? So it, it follows a format of... Um, you sort of enter, and then if you're selected as the initial in the initial group, the sort of semi finalists, if you will, they'll then give you a small amount of funding and outline their expectations for you, and then give you a period of time, say a few months, in which you've got to achieve, you know, developing a prototype, testing it with customers, um, researching the market, and then you come back and compare. They compare everyone's results, and then they select you know the final 10 give you even more funding and then expect more of you and it's that structure that really helps motivate you because yeah. there's that competitive atmosphere you know you have to get to a certain milestone by a certain point and you've also got the money to get there so it's it's quite exciting and it really does help you help you get moving so, mm. so what's next then what's, yeah what, what's... i think we've got an exclusive reveal so yes, this, this is morning, this we? is only launched um, two days ago. Wow. So, yeah, you're some of the first people to see these prototypes in the right, flesh. tell us what it is. So, have you ever experienced tangled earphones? Oh, yes. I get tangle rage almost every day at the gym. <laughs> Drives so, me mad. These, this is called Mobu, that's M-O-B-U, and it's a small clip which can attach to pretty much any power cable or earphone cable, uh, really simply, and it snaps to itself. So you put them on the end of your earphones, so mm -hmm. by the earbuds and by the connector, mm -hmm. and they just snap together, sort of like Lego, but with a click. Yeah. And because you're connecting the ends together, it can't tangle. <laughs> 
So instead of wrapping them around a spool or just shoving them in your pocket, you just snap them together and shove the whole lot in your pocket. Right. So it uses mathematical fit this mathematical theory called tangle theory, which says that if you have lots of lengths of string together with loose ends, they're much more likely to tangle. But if you connect them together, they don't. That's just so. Even uh, though it's looped, it can't it, because the ends are connected, um, and the, the but the length of the the cable is still free. That won't tangle and tie itself up in knots. No. So wow. I've I've done testing where I've sort of had loose earphones and you rub them between your hands for yeah. a, a few seconds, about 10, 20 seconds, and you do that with loose with loose earphones and you have knots instantly. Whereas if you use Ooh, if you use Mobi, really so you well. can hear that click there. Yeah. But That's this brilliant. is the tiniest, teeniest little. Really small. Bit of so we're plastic. talking what the size? You know those like, um, like the cod liver oil capsule yes. size type, that sort of shape as well. So we're um, we've just launched on Kickstarter, which is where we were on with uh, with mm -hmm. Gecko Hub yeah. when I spoke to you, Jim, and it's. Um, it's gone really well so far. Where do you get all these ideas from, honestly? Where do, how does your brain work? <laughs> <laughs> so they come from a variety of different places. Uh, this one was born out of a personal frustration. Yeah. Um, so I commute on foot to work um, quite a lot, and you've got your earphones in your pocket, you take them out, ready to put them on, and you have to go through the ritual of untangling them first. And it's something that I put up with unknowingly for a while, and then one day I was just like, hang on a second, this <laughs> must be, be an easier way. way. And there are things that spool your earphones up and things like that but for me that takes too long it, I just I don't have the time for it really <laughs> I wonder if there's so. an equivalent I did the washing yesterday and all I did six seven shirts and all the arms knotted together in the way that that does I wonder if I could you could maybe a mobu for like mobu shirt, for sleeves, shirt or something. sleeves there you go there's your next <laughs> challenge <laughs> I've no doubt you're, you're going to make it a success Simon so uh, that's brilliant so the nimble and now the mobu and the gecko hub I lo just love the names as well they just sound really fun and funky where did yeah. you come up with those um Mobu is from Mobius Energy, which is a potential for things to not. Oh, I'm sorry I asked. So that's where that came from. <laughs> I love that. Uh, nimble sounds like thimble. Yeah. Um, but it makes you nimble. So, so there you go. Well, Congratulations <laughs> and good luck. Thank you. That's brilliant. Thank you, Simon. Great to catch up with you. Uh, that is a name to keep very close at hand because you'll either see him on Dragon's Den or somewhere else pretty soon, I reckon, uh, doing brilliant things. Simon Lyons from Loughborough there.